Welcome to the Granny Square series. This week we're going to be making this little square which pairs nicely with the dewdrop square. They go really nicely together. Very simple, very effective, elegant squares. So let's get started using DK acrylic yarn in pale rose from Stylecraft Special DK range. I've made a double magic circle and chain one. So this round we're going to start with four popcorn stitches. Each popcorn stitch will be made with four US doubles UK trebles and there'll be four chains in between each popcorn. So we've chained one, we're going to chain two and then we'll make four US doubles UK trebles to make that first popcorn. When you've made your four stitches, pull the loop, take your hook out, go into the first stitch you made, take hold of the yarn and pull the loop through. Pinch those stitches together and then we're going to chain four. And that's our repeat. So we're going to do that three more times to make three more popcorn stitches. So we start with four stitches, make your popcorn and then chain four. And you can pause the video if you're making along and I'll see you at the end of the round. So when you've made your four stitches, we're going to pull the circle tight, pull the tail and then pull the loop that tightened first and then pull the tail tight. And we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the first popcorn to join. We're then going to slip stitch into the chain four space. And that's how your work should look at the end of round one. Round two, we're going to chain one, two, three, and then we're going to make three US doubles, UK trebles into that chain four space. We're then going to hop across into the next chain four space and again make three US doubles, UK trebles. We're going to chain one and we're going to make three more stitches into the corner. So we're just making a granny square round now. And these chain four spaces are our corners. So into the next corner, we make three stitches. Chain one and three more stitches. Let me just grab some slack. After the six stitches in that corner space, we're going to hop across to the next chain four space, make three stitches. chain one and three more stitches. And we're back to the first corner. So we're going to make the first three stitches of that corner, but the last three stitches of our round. So going straight into the chain four space. So I snagged my yarn there. 
After your three stitches, we then just slip stitch into that chain three space to join. And that's how your work should look at the end of round two. Round three, we're going to chain three. And we're going to make three US doubles, UK trebles into that chain space. Oops. We're then going to chain one and we're going to make a popcorn stitch in between those two groups of three stitches. We're going to make four US doubles, UK trebles. into that same space yeah and then we're going to pull the yarn go into the first stitch grab hold of the yarn and pull through we're then going to chain one and we're going to hop across to the next corner that chain one space so we're going to make three stitches Chain one and then three more stitches into that corner. Sorry, I just had to get some slack on the yarn. And that's our repeat. So we're going to do the same thing. Chain one, go in between the two groups of three stitches and make a popcorn stitch. You can press pause and I'll see you at the end of the round. So when you get back to the beginning of the, of the round, remember that we only made three stitches for that first corner. So we're gonna go back into that corner and make three more stitches. and then slip stitch into the chain three space. And that's how your work should look at the end of round three. Round four, we're gonna chain three and then make three stitches into that corner space. And this round is a granny square round. So one, two and, whoops, whoops. And three, and then we're going to hop across to the space between the popcorn stitch and that group of three stitches. We're going to make three US doubles, UK trebles in there. And then we'll hop across to the next space and make three more stitches. Once you've made three stitches, we're back at the, well, we're at the first corner. We're going to make three stitches. Chain two. And that's our repeat. So we're back at the beginning of our repeat now. We're going to do three stitches uh, into the corner. And then when we've made three stitches, hop across into the next space and make three stitches. And all the way around, you can press pause if you're making with me. And I'll see you at the end of the round. Remember, when you get to the end of the round, we still need to make those last three stitches in that first corner. Yeah. And don't get the corner confused with your chain space that you made at the beginning of the round. Yeah. And then we'll just slip stitch into the chain three space to join. And there's our square. Isn't it lovely? These are lovely as filler squares if you're making a big scrap yarn blanket. They just go in really nicely. So I'll see you in the next video.